In the healthy hair, it covers up nicely and smooth. But whereas in damaged hair, it starts to tear apart. What are the things that can affect hair growth? Genetic factors that ties in with age, family uh, history, hormonal changes, right? I think we know that uh, colleagues who have gone through things like pregnancy, sometimes you may notice that there's more hair loss. Medical conditions, right? drugs, cancer treatment, and of course, nutrition. Then also, what is a hair care routine? I look at all of you ladies here, none of you have a very tight hair bun, right? Some, some people will tie their hair until it's very tight, pull back. That actually puts a lot of stress on the hair and that may predispose to hair loss. Or if you always go and do your hair, bleach your hair, dye it, that can also damage the hair roots and cause increased hair loss. What is hirsutism? It is due to too much male hormones in the system. And there are of course, not just hormone factors, there's genetics and family history factors as well. We want to treat what is the underlying cause. If we have PCOS, then things like maybe birth control pills will be able to help regulate the hormone levels, get your menses back into control, and also help with the hair growth pattern. Uh, weight loss, especially for people who are a bit overweight, then shaving, waxing, and the more atas treatments will be things like laser hair removal or electrolysis. So then draft, medical term actually is seborrheic dermatitis. It's a form of skin inflammation, it's actually common in teenagers as well as adults in the 30 to 40 years old. So a lot of the anti-dendraft shampoos contains things like selenium sulfide, which somehow sorry, breaks down this fungal e sebum kind of thing, so it reduces the irritation. You should rotate between the different brands for better effect. How often you rotate, you of course have to try to explore. And of course, the other thing that, uh, from a practical perspective is that you should use a clarifying shampoo one to two times a month to try to wash off all the the products that goes into your hair and also thin out the oil. Use cold water so you don't trigger the hair follicles, the, the oil glands to produce so much oil. At the same time, also don't use hot air, so much hot air to blow dry your hair. For, for people who are sensitive, the heat can actually trigger off more oil secretions. Then clarifying shampoo, generally at least two times a month to wash off the oil. <laughs>